We good? Use your words next time. All right, guys, we are starting the day out with uh, Ryan Jarrett, who had some pretty fancy roping last night. Uh, the only time I can think of I've pulled that off is playing a game of horse. How the heck did you? I mean, we saw you over under your horse. Obviously, he did, you were you were late. We yep. were just like, I'm late. I'm halfway down the pin, so I'm going to make it fun for the fans. I mean, wh where was the the thought there? Uh, no, not not really thinking of the fans. Yeah. That's... <laughs> That's just if if I go to whip a horse, uh, it just feels more natural for me to uh, when I pick my rope back up. It has momentum behind it. Just yeah. To to hooli hand it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You just you don't see a lot of people with the stones to try to do that at the national finals. I bet no one's done that at the NFR before. Uh, probably not. Yeah. I, I, like, I'm not a trendsetter enough. I'm one of two guys to tie from the belt, and then I'm going to hula hand my calf tonight. <laughs> like, why not go for that? Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Um, yeah, it's not the first time I've ever done it at a pro yeah. rodeo. Really? No, no. Um, I, as a matter of fact, there's a film from second round at Ellensburg of me. I broke the barrier on one, and calf went hard right, and I went over and under my horse and just got him in there behind it and just swing it backwards and <laughs> stick it on him. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like I said, that's that's the trick you always play if you're trying to win a game of, a game of horse. <laughs> yeah, it's hard yeah. enough on the on the ground on your feet. You got to <laughs> practice that and practice that. But yeah. to pull it off, you know, on a pin of calves like that, and at, at the national finals rodeo, I mean, people are never going to stop talking about it. So probably not. If you wanted not, to get famous, that's not really like win what a I was. That's not really or what will hand your calf. <laughs> you decided to go that way. Yeah, yeah, that's not really what I was after by no yeah. means. I, I just I was late and. Didn't really feel like my horse was top speed, and, and that's just kind of my go-to when I go to over and under one. I just hit on the left tip and come back up and yeah. and swing it backwards. And, and uh, that's one the kid that owns the horse that Shane Hanchy's riding. He yeah. Just a while ago, he's like, you had lots of confidence in doing that. And yeah. I'm like, it, it's – it goes around their neck, same as swing, yeah. <laughs> swinging it the other way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, and it, it was yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. we were all pretty pretty happy to watch it. People are talking about it all day. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like you're right up there with Emily with putting the rubber bands on her arms. So, I mean, That's, two yeah. fun things from, from the NFR. If nothing else, we got a barrel racer <laughs> with rubber bands and a guy who ties from the belt and who lands his cast. Yep, well, for sure. What the I'm, – I'm sure you've told plenty of people this, but, I mean, why did you start tying from the belt? I mean, Man, definitely a I, disadvantage. Uh, just when I was a kid, I was real, real small and had trouble flanking anyways. And it, it I mean, I'd be down there tussling with them for a while. And, and I used to would string a calf and I would step in between their legs with, I, I wouldn't really actually sit on their side. I would uh, step in between their legs with my left foot and then cross the calves. And uh, just, I always put in my belt practicing and, for you and and uh, Pendleton, Oregon is. I I had a little horse that was really good on the grass, but he was a fruit loop in the box. <laughs> but if you put your string in your belt, he would be a little more relaxed. You could kind of bluff him a little bit. So he was whipped at some point in his life and was worried about it. Yeah, yeah. He, he he could feel you tense up, bear down on your string and bite down on it, so to say. And and uh, I just I put it in my belt right there at Pendleton that year and been rolling with it since yeah i mean it works for you i mean I, the first time i ever saw you at the finals i saw that and uh i was like let, let me try that you know just try it on a on a calf from the post and yeah it, it yeah. was a mess i was like never again <laughs> no wonder nobody does this crap yeah yeah it it, it it's the way i grew up doing it so it, it's i'm comfortable so yeah it, it's good it's no, good. absolutely. So setting all the uh, the trickery and fun stuff that you do aside, <laughs> I mean, what has been kind of your opinion? We're, we're uh, kind of winding down to the end here. I mean, what's been your opinion of Arlington so far? I mean, you were late last night, but, I mean, you're no stranger to three under on the barrier. I mean, it's a normal thing. So It is. It is. I haven't gotten the groove. Uh, none. I've placed twice, and it, none of it's felt real good. Uh, actually went home and roped a little bit, run a few today, and – we shall see tonight. I, yeah. I don't know. I just hadn't felt kind of in between swings and and not uh, not in my comfort zone really, so to yeah. say. Just wanting to go another one, but oh man, he's right there. And then I, I the one calf that I had the two loop. I, I mean that's that's money calf all day. Yeah. And, and there I am down there, eleven seconds, two looping the son of a gun. But here we are. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get a chance <laughs> to look at your calf for tonight? Uh yeah, I gonna go left uh, a little off the pace, 
I don't know if he's – I'm sure maybe top six kind of calf maybe. Sure. Hopefully slide in there, but I, I, I don't really feel like he's – First place, but sure. we, we shall see. Yeah, I, it's been – I mean, outside of Shad and all the money he's won, he's had hell, but uh, mm-hmm. a lot of guys that, that you maybe thought would come in here and, and light it up haven't, and then some guys that – I mean, I, I don't think I would have picked Hunter Heron to win two rounds in a row right, just based right. on kind of the last few years of his I career. But yep, yep. It, it's been fun to watch. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some excitement for sure. Um, glad to be in here in Arlington for sure. Um uh, it's it's a dip, different atmosphere than Thomas and Mac. I mean, it's pretty cool to be be able to stay down there and warm up and be in the building the whole time. Uh, Vegas, you're over there in the moat, out in the weather, cold, trying to warm up. It's not great, but it's a little different vibe when you when you ride in Thomas and Mac versus here. Um, but I, I I'm glad we're here. Yeah, I mean, just to be having it. I mean, mm-hmm. that's been the topic the whole time. Is everybody's just like, thank goodness we've got it. The right. fans came through, bought up all the tickets. Now everybody yeah. gets full full round money. Yep. It's Yeah, I mean, it's been great a great eight, eight days to watch, and I'm sure it's yep. been a great eight days to just, you know, be included in the top 15 and what have you. But, I mean, you prefer Thomas and Mac. You'd never want to see it leave there probably like like me, right? I, I it, Thomas and Mac, pretty good vibe for us. <sighs> it's it's lot, vibe, lots, yeah. of, lots of energy in that arena. Right. I mean, there he is. Uh, I, yeah, I, I, I if they have it and uh, here next year, and ho- I hope I'm here. It, it don't matter where it's at. You just hope you make. You just want to be here. Yeah, want to be here and and uh, get some of their prize money. Absolutely. I mean, you had a pretty good regular season. You were right, right up in there and mm-hmm. uh, done some fun stuff. And hey, maybe tonight's your night. We shall see. I wonder how ballsy you are. We just come straight out and hula hand tonight. <laughs> I got to get a whip in to make for it, for, it, for, it, for it to work. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, Ryan Jarrett was kind enough to stop by. We're going to let him go uh, go get ready for the rodeo. As everybody knows who's watching it, it moves really quick. We'll be at the tie down in no time. So uh, thanks for taking the time to come in. <laughs> you bet. Thank you, guys. Oh, you bet. Thanks, Ryan. Yep. Guys, one thing is for sure, one thing I know for sure about myself and everybody in this room other than young Tyler is we are rural Americans, guys. With that comes a brand built just for us, Rule Cloth. Rule Cloth is for the guy who likes to hunt, fish, drive the back roads, drink the ice cold beers, go to the bonfires, has him a dog in the back. If you've got mud on your boots, Rule Cloth is the brand for you. Rule Cloth set out to create some of the highest quality clothing in the business, and they've got some great little taglines that We Grow Beer had is super popular. Thank you to Rule Cloth for the 20% off holiday discount that they're giving all the listeners to the Gauge Podcast. Go to rulecloth.com, type in the promo code GAGE at checkout to get that 20% off. We've got till Saturday for you guys to use that. For some reason, if you're living under a rock, if you're not here with us, why that would be, I don't know. You'd be crazy not to be on this show right now listening. They've got 10% off for the remainder of the month. So if you do miss it, if you're one of those people, you come across this, I'm sorry you missed us, but go get that 10% off deal. It's Christmas. Guys, I can't think of a better truck than the all-new 2021 Ford Super Duty, and I can't think of a better dealer to get one from than Bill Fick Ford. Bill Fick Ford is the number one Super Duty dealer in the country and the number one truck provider for the entire rodeo industry, guys. Go out to contestant parking right now. You'll see more Bill Fick Fords than any other vehicle. I'm a Bill Fick Ford man myself. Can't wait to get my new 2021. Here's the great deal, guys. He will give you a great deal. You'll get great interest rates. You won't have to worry about it. It's fully transparent with the the purchasing process. None of that car dealer BS. Go to BillFickFordHuntsville.com to see what they've got in inventory now. And, of course, you can order your truck. That's what I did. Order your new Super Duty. If you're not from Texas, if you're not here, if you're not enjoying Arlington with us, if you're not around Bill Fick Ford, guess what? Nationwide shipping. You can be anywhere in the continental U.S. Maybe Canada. It might just take a little longer. Get your Super Duty today. Guys, our founding fathers set out to ensure that you were able to arm yourself if you needed to against tyrannical government. The Second Amendment is extremely important. Bailey's House of Guns might be the finest firearm supplier in all of Texas. They're such a fine firearm supplier that they have been supplying Texas law enforcement for decades. They've been in business since 1970 based out of the Houston market. They've got all the great options. You like hunting? They've got Benelli. They've got Weatherby. They've got Christensen Arms. They've got Swarowski 
on the optic side, loop old scopes, all the ammunition you could want. It's like there is no COVID for them. They have kept their stocks high. If you can't find it in the box stores, guys, give Bailey House of Guns a call. 713-433-2475 for more details. Here's what's great. If you're out of the state of Texas, no problem. Bailey's will ship the gun you want to your local FFL. You can still get a Bailey's House of Guns firearm today. So there's something we learned a long time ago when we started the Gauge Podcast. It's that you barrel racers, you guys will consume. If there's a barrel racer on the show, you guys will support us. And we thank you guys so much for that. Well, it's time to support the industry, guys. Go enter the Royal Crown Fraternity Derby and Open Barrel Race. Here's the deal. $65,000 added to the fraternity that will be in Bryan, Texas this February, or this coming February, rather. And they've got another race in 2021. They've got the one in August, which will be in Rock Springs. Go to royalcrownrace.com or find Royal Crown on Facebook today. Uh, check out the stallions that are currently enrolled. Get those entry fees paid. There's there's no annual enrollment fees, and you still have time to enroll your stallion if you want to be a part of that. Go to royalcrownrace.com for more details. A very heartfelt thank you to our sponsor, Cavenders. Cavenders has been a trusted cowboy boot and western wear outfitter for over 50 years. Go to Cowboy Christmas to their 8,300 square foot booth to find out why their loyal customers love their western wear collections as much as I do. Guys, Cavenders is the place to be for Christmas. If you're not at Cowboy Christmas, go to their website or one of their 90 plus stores throughout the continental U.S. Cavenders is where it's at. 